All right, YouTube, hey Josh here at a Columbia Company. Check out this project right here, 32 by 56 with a six by 20 porch. But in this video, I'm gonna share with you, this actually building had a little fire damage. So what we did is we pulled out all the posts, all right? And then what we did is you probably are looking at this and I'll share with you, we actually put some posts in here. You can see four by six here on the post, but there was a fire here. So we went in here and we tugged or tagged this these posts that were rotten, not rotten, but that were fire, then we pulled them out of the ground. You can see what this one looks like right there. So what we did is we pulled them out right there. You can see a little existing pad, uh, right on the perimeter, or actually on the mainframe of the building there. But you can see what we did. Uh, four by six post here. We got our two by 10 treated skirt board. But check this out right here, actually with a fire. And we had some posts. So what we did is we came in, we tugged out all those posts. Actually, it was a tough job, kind of a, not a, a freestanding building that we just come in and, and drill down and go. We had to pull up the post and we put these four by sixes in there just to kind of give you an idea. So we're going to take advantage, or the owner's going to take advantage of that existing pad right here. A nice concrete pad. And then we extended the building here. All right, so check that out right here. Four by six, again, state of Ohio, state of Ohio here. So we went and dug down 54 inches. All right see right here this is actually getting set up here 10 feet tall all right again the truss is four foot on center again we're not a truss company eight foot nine foot ten foot eleven foot twelve foot on center we put our trusses four foot on center and you can see this is actually pretty good ten only ten feet tall at the eave all right you can see how we notched that right there right there on that four by six now if we don't hit the post all right you can see we apply that two by six you can see that two by six spf we wedge that in there Four nails on that. Let me see if I can get you a little closer. See that? Four nails right there. Put it on the heel of that two by four bottom floor truss. You can see actually there's two two by fours right there. All right, standard conventional truss. All right, you can see how the purlins are laying flat. So we attach some metal there. You know, greatly like the hood of when that purlins are flat, a lot easier for the, the workers obviously to walk on that. But again, nail it down, not nail it, but screw it down the metal. You know, you have a larger circumference to hit that. All right, when your purlins are flat and not on edge. All right, so that kind of gives you an idea right here. I wanted to share with you what we did here. And you can see how we ran that skirt board off the, on the bottom baseboard of the rim board. All right, you can see how we did that with that existing pad we put down right on there. So I'll, I'll bring you up to date here when this project's more complete, but I thought I'd give you an idea here. All right, so keep it locked, keep it loaded. Again, comments always welcome to the next one, out of Columbia then out of Columbia.com.